What's up everyone and welcome to this episode of Tech Apprentice. Today we are going to 3D print a faceplate for my Fatrack Teleporter V5. If you have not seen my other videos about those goggles, you can check them out. I have done an unboxing and a review of the whole package. I'll put some link in the description. What is a faceplate? A faceplate is basically a plastic part that will be replacing the rubber eye cups on the goggles. The advantages of that is that with the fan, when it's hot or when you're flying for a long time, usually your glass is going to fog up. With this, the fan is going to basically cool down everything inside where your eyes are, which will prevent the glass from fogging up. It works with the balance uh, connector on the battery. And uh, yeah, that's it. This is the model that we are going to print today. It is made for the altitude v2s from fight sharks but it will work just fine with the teleporter v5 goggles models from mr ray squad and it is in three parts so you have basically the top part the bottom parts and the fan holder which will assemble look something like that um so yeah let's print this out and uh, check what it looks like we are going to use Cura and I'm going to use just my standard settings 35 millimeters a second, uh, 0.3 and all those good settings and we are going to print in ColorFab PLA. Let's do this! So I have already finished the model and this is what it looks like pre -insta already installed on the goggles. So as you can see, it's a very nice fit. I have already installed the foam and uh, fitted it properly. What I did is that the problem when it was out of the, right out of the printer, I tried to install it. The curve was too pronounced, so it was not reaching on one of the side. I was able to fit it on one side and the other side had a big gap. So basically, since I used PLA, it was really easy. You just had to uh, heat it up with a hair dryer and bend it for it to fit directly on there. And after that, with some screws, just screwed it in together. And it was actually very easy to assemble and it worked great. The foam I used is some air conditioning uh, isolation. So you can basically find this in every hardware store. Um, pretty much everywhere you are and it's very comfortable um, if you have different ones personally this one I find it I find this one a little too hard but it will do the job just fine uh, but if you can get one that match a little bit more um, normal uh, ski masks and stuff get this it's gonna be a lot more comfortable but to be honest this is plenty comfortable for me it is actually pretty soft so it should do the job just fine. Fan-wise, as you can see, I did not install one yet. That is because um, I have a hard time finding the right size to fit on here. I found some 40 by 40 millimeters size fans and uh, it, re it requires a 30 by 30. I might try to fit the 40 by 41 in the future, but I'll probably just buy uh, the right size fan on eBay. And while I'm there, for the wiring, I'll buy some leads for 2S batteries and 3S. The fan I'm gonna use is gonna be a 12 volt fan. The reason for that is very simple, is that if you use the 7.4 volt battery, like the one on the Fat Shark goggles, um, on your 12 volt fan, the only thing is that the fan is gonna run, is gonna run a little bit slower, but that's it. It should be plenty fast enough to cool down your goggles. And the good thing is that if you decide to use a 3S battery, because the Fat Shark goggles are uh, compatible with 3S batteries, well, you're still gonna be able to use the same fan because the 3S battery is somewhere around 12 volt. So your fan is gonna be running just fine. It's just gonna run faster. That's it. 
So yeah, just get some 2S or 3S leads, glue it on the side of, uh, of the frame, and it's gonna be very easy to connect in the port of your goggles and in the battery lead. So you're always gonna have cool goggles. Um, overall, it's a great project to be honest. If you have a 3D printer or know someone that has a 3D printer, you should get it. Uh, it's a great upgrade for the goggles and it's gonna make, make them even closer to the Dominator series or the higher end one because you're not gonna fog up. It's not gonna be a problem on um, hot days or if you're, when you're not using your, your goggles, if you leave them on your head, well, your glass is not gonna fog up inside of you. Um, so yeah, very easy to do. I highly suggest you to do this upgrade. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, hope you liked it. If you did, please hit, hit the like button. Um, if you have not seen my other videos about the Fat Shark Teleporter V5, I'll link them. Uh, I did a review and unboxing. Um, so yeah, please subscribe, like, dislike, comment, and see you on the next one, guys.